are at a beautiful winery in California with Francis Garcini. She's in charge of marketing for Mitsubishi. And in particular, now today we're talking about the new Outlander 2016. Great. So thank you for having us here, Francis. Thank you guys for coming here. It's a pleasure uh, to have you. I, I, I wanted to talk to you because I think you have one of the most interesting jobs uh, at Mitsubishi because, I mean, it's such a great car, but still a lot of people don't know about it. No, I think you're right. You know, uh, when I presented today to uh, you all, I talked about the fact that only 57% of America really kind of knows about Mitsubishi, right? Well, which is pretty good awareness, but where we fall short is consideration. So um, I showed uh, some work today that you saw and you guys thought was uh, really smart. And we have to be. We have to be memorable in what we put forward uh, for a marketing campaign. Um, the fact is, is that the car has over 100 improvements. So we took that whole concept and kind of wrapped it up and put something out there that uh, not only hiring one spokesperson um, as kind of a main mouthpiece about styling, but over 100 to represent all the improvements. So the, the good news is that they give you a lot of <laughs> things to uh, talk about, yes, right? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And so we have one 30-second spot that features all 100 uh, and kind of plays on that theme. And then uh, we have four 15-second spots that focus on unique uh, features and benefits. Uh, one is the front fascia. So I have a plastic surgeon doing that part. Um, I have an Inuit uh, talking about the windshield wiper de-icer. I'll probably save that a little bit later, uh, yeah. maybe in October. Yeah, when, when the uh, winter right. starts coming back uh, again. And a style guy, which represents overall styling, and even a, a ninja for the over 30 improvements to NVH or, or noise. That's great. Uh, also, you were mentioning how important the Hispanic uh, consumers are for Mitsubishi. Yes. And, uh, I mean, like really high numbers, I mean, compared to like, yeah. like the big ones, Nissan yes. and Toyota. Huh? Um, and so when I can't compete when it looks at uh, just sales, yeah. but as a, short per, um, a sheer percent of our owner base, 16.9% of our owners are Hispanic. So last year we launched an effort against um, that demographic, did really well. We got some traction. I had dealers telling me people were coming in off the campaign. So we're going to continue to do that. Um, we are uh, buying Univision, Telemundo, top two networks, um, also some top cable networks as well. Yeah. So important uh, aspect for us. So and, and what I was saying at the very beginning, it's very interesting your job because, I mean, nowadays there aren't <laughs> any bad cars in the market anymore. I mean, no, every true. car are, like, really good. The quality sure. has come up great. There's a lot of new technology and everything. So to convey that message to the consumers, that's like, almost like the key nowadays, right? Um, I think it is. You know, we're on the front line, uh, I think, just like you were stating. And what we put out there from a brand image and communication standpoint is what people see right away. Um, so it has to be good. It has to be memorable. Um, and it has to be um, uh, a direct translation of who we are as a company. And I think the spots are fun. The, the company is about spirited design. Um, so I think we've, we've come up with a... Yeah, and the product is great, too. I mean, the we've driven it already. awesome. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We drove the 2015, the current model, and now the new one. Good. And it, you can see the difference. I mean, all the right. 100 and new features and, like, uh, changes, you can really, really tell about it. Oh, so thank you. It's great. Uh, we're going to keep driving here. And thank you very all much right. for your time. It's, it's been great spending time here. I uh, wish we can stay more here, but... <laughs> so do I. <laughs> we have to go back yeah. to work in okay. another place. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.